My initial thing was the, the, the life of Michael Hope and the journey that he takes in that year, um, age nine to ten. I think he's a, a strange age where you're suddenly becoming aware of yourself and your, your surroundings and who you are and, and starting to go pre-adolescent but being suddenly aware that people and parents who have another life, a separate life from just yours, and where you go from being the centre of the universe and the centre of the universe in your own mind to realising that, that you have to share it with other people and you have to consider other people. And I think Michael has a real amazing journey over this year of seeing how life is changing for him. This, this is marvellous. All the work you've put in. You can keep it on the road. I can't, it's sliding. Oh. I mean, it's obviously the story of um, Gordon and being a gay teacher in the 60s and him being found out and the prejudice and that sort of thing that goes with that. Nothing improper has ever happened in any way. Conversation, anything. But also, um, it's the issues of family life, growing up, um, with the parents not understanding. A bit of a check with Rhonda. Oh. In current affairs today, we're kind of seeing that the um, transformation of those earlier kind of taboo subjects and how everything's changed and kind of having, I suppose, taking a look back and seeing a reflection of how we as New Zealanders once were. As far as being able to delve into the characters and it's just phenomenal script. Uh, we'll end up a Kiwi classic for sure if we do it justice. Um, the biggest opportunity is working in the round um, because it's not something that often gets done in New Zealand so it's a really great chance to actually be able to play with something like that particularly when it's in a black box theatre like this. He's having to leave his world behind um, and generally it's just brilliantly written and very beautifully put together as a story.